Too many times we arrive on a scene where we find a loved one in respiratory distress from a drug overdose. We have many stories we can tell. We arrive on the scene, we actually find a patient with a needle in their arm, or a very young person who shouldn't be laying there suffering from a cardiac arrest. The first thing we ask, what's going on? Although there was a good crowd on hand to witness the public launch at the May 1st press conference, the life-saving tool that was the subject of the meeting was already being put to work. The kits are actually already deployed to our patrol deputies and we're continuing that initiative throughout the week and into next week to uh, make sure we encompass all of the law and sworn law enforcement officers, including the detention center and contract medical staff at the detention center as well. If there is one thing that can bring this many agencies together in such a short amount of time, it's the prospect of being able to save lives. Saving the lives of potential opioid overdose victims is the sole purpose of the drug naloxone commonly referred to as Narcan. What Narcan essentially does is blocks the, re the receptors. The drug does not leave the body once a person overdoses or becomes an overdose state, but what this medication does is blocks the way that it communicates with the brain. So as the receptors bind to the brain to place a body into a, res into a um, respiratory distress or a respiratory arrest situation as a result of a drug overdose, this actually forms a wall, if you will, to uh, prevent that from happening. As demonstrated in this training video produced by the Office of Public Information, sheriff's deputies often find themselves as first responders to victims in various stages of drug overdose. When seconds are critical to survival, waiting for medical personnel may not be an option. That's where the Narcan kit, with its easy-to-use nasal applicator, can make the difference in a life-or-death scenario. In the fall of 2013, we were approached by Chris Smith, who is the uh, Chronic Pain Initiative Care for North Carolina. And their initiative was to deploy uh, naloxone kits or Narcan kits within the community uh, with the intent to reduce the number of deaths associated with a drug overdose. And along with that, uh, there was more of a drive to focus on our first responders. And so with the change in the North Carolina legislative law, which occurred in April of 2013, and it allowed law enforcement officers as first responders to possess the kits and be able to administer the medication as well under the supervision of a licensed physician and that person is Dr. Jeff Ferguson who's the medical director for Pitt County EMS. One of the things that we you know really supportive about is there's a multitude of ways that you can give uh, naloxone or, or, or Narcan but uh, we chose the simplest method for our deputies and the safest methods as well. According to advocates like Diane Cardin Glenn a board member with the North Carolina Harm Reduction Coalition that simple method could be all that is needed to save the lives of people just like her son Michael, who died of an overdose in 2012. A few years ago, Michael called me and asked for my social security number. He said he was making his life insurance policy payable to me. We talked a bit about what that meant, and the conversation turned to what he would want me to do for him if that were to happen. And what he told me was to do what I thought was best, <clears throat> to remember who he was and where he came from, what his dreams were, but whatever I did and whatever decision I made would be to support change. Whether someone is fighting an addiction or has simply taken the wrong medication, the change that advocates like Glenn and the NCHRC are bringing about in North Carolina's law books are already starting to show positive results. The intent of the program is to utilize Narcan kits and with our patrol deputies to save lives of the citizens of Pitt County. So as individuals who either accidentally or intentionally abuse uh, pharmaceutical drugs that have opioids that are, uh, that are in the medications, the use of this uh, particular program will reduce those deaths. It's already proven to do that uh, in Wilkes County, North Carolina, where a study was done in 2007. And they saw a 68% increase in the number of reversals with the use of uh, Narcan in the field. Since Pitt County is one of the first counties in eastern North Carolina to implement the program, the goal is to set a benchmark for our area to help convince surrounding communities to join in as well, something most all involved agree is a good idea. I thank you for taking the lead in this initiative and I thank you from all the mothers and fathers who will not have to grieve the loss of a child or a loved one because you have given them a second chance. Thank you.